Okay, so here is one of your basic Whirlpool timers. Okay, so this is the design machine that it came out of. That's and what I'm going to do is show you how to rebuild it. This video is for informational purposes only. If in doubt, consult a professional. So you can see there's these little clips here on the side. They push in, they're basically push in tabs. So you push in on them and then the clamshells will come apart. Once, you, once it comes apart, you don't have to pull it all the way apart. You can pull it most of the way apart and then we'll pull those points out of there. So those points basically can become corroded and or cause problems, yes, particularly in the spin cycle. Okay, so you notice there's a couple of these little clips here. There's three here on this side, two on this side, and two on this side, and three on this side. And we'll take those, uh, push those. Basically, once again, we just push in on them. You have to push in on this side and then pry it apart gently. Okay, so the actual easiest way to do this is basically um, from this edge pry inward rather than this edge and pry outward. So this edge here and you just push inward and if you have a knife then it will come off easily. And so once you've got these apart, then you can pull out the points. And we'll take a look at these points. Just remember how they go back in. If you use a little logic, you can figure out how they go back in. And so basically we, we have to pull these points out of here. And I can't do it with one hand, so I'm going to have to set the camera okay, down so here. Okay, here is the, this is the front of the timer. Points going this way. Uh, on top of this brass thing here. So they need to slide in over that and then inside. It's a little tricky at first, but you can get the hang of it. So if we look here, we can see that typically going to be the spin points that are burnt. These points are a little bit burnt here, but not bad. These points here are a little, a little worse off, but not too bad. What happens occasionally, these points will stick together and then you know you've got a problem. But these points are not stuck together. And so um, uh, it's not going to be a problem rebuilding this. Basically, what I do sometimes is spread a little silicone in, in on, inside there in the moving parts. Avoid getting any lubricant on the points. Uh, you can use contact cleaner to clean these points up. Uh, basically, what I do is I just take some sandpaper. I've got some 400 grit sandpaper and I just lightly sort of buff the points uh, clean and um, take off any corrosion and um, put it all back together. And that's your timer tip for today. If this video helped you, please send me a donation. Or you may be interested in my how to make money in the appliance repair business course. And if so, you can contact me, 707-443-8347, Pacific Time, 927. And email is applianceworks at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.